It's just a short walk from the ferry terminal at Snug Cove to the entrance of Crippen Regional Park and the Davies Historic Orchard. The Bowen Island Heritage Preservation Association is on a mission to restore the cottages that were built here in the 1920s. Once a thriving tourist resort, it eventually became home to a nature-loving bunch of hippies. But since then, the cabins have fallen into serious disrepair. Between different types of babies. A dedicated band of volunteers has also been working hard to restore the orchard. It's a labor of love. By being obsessive, I've been able to source all of those varieties that were grown here 100 and 130 years ago, and I've been, uh, I've been persistent. I have a stick with itness that I don't easily quit. At this year's Apple Fest, there's apple bread and apple muffins. Muffin? I love when you call me muffin. No. I love it. No. Apple pies. We have a beautiful apple pie with a large A on it, made by Bowen Island here. <laughs> but no apples on the trees. This year, the Heritage Orchard failed to produce any fruit. A decline in the worldwide population of bees is part of the problem. Very recent science on the subject seems to indicate that it's a combination of a mite and a, a virus, I think, that's, that's attacking the bees. They can survive one or the other, but when the two occur at the same time, it's death to the colony. Fewer bees was just one problem, made all the worse by some very bad weather. So two things happened. One was the bees didn't wake up because it was not pleasant weather for bees. And the second one was that the wind was so high it actually tore the blossoms off the tree. This year's fest focuses on pollination. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of heritage apples this year, but it works really well because then we can kind of highlight to the public the importance of pollinators. It's a very cool relationship that the ants have with the bleeding hearts. If we don't treat our pollinators with respect and do things to encourage them to stay around, we're not going to have any of the nice things that we like. Mason bees are not capable of building their own habitat. So drilling holes in a piece of wood and lining them with paper creates a perfect yeah, nest. Put it right in that hole. Oh, All right here. Thanks to John Riley's persistence, his own orchard elsewhere on the island produced many varieties of heritage apples. They're a tangible reminder of the diverse bounty that this orchard used to bear, and within a year or two, will begin to produce again. And as the orchard is restored, so too are the cabins. Four of the 12 surviving units are now in functional order. The Heritage Society was really formed around the idea of trying to put together a little resort area where we could have people come and learn about the orchard, learn about pollinators, learn about food security. An idea the association hopes will bear fruit in the not too distant future.